Kermit, that's gross. It's gross. We moved! Did you move, Kermit? We moved again! <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't own this place, just like I didn't own my last place. But we left that place because it sucked, it was the worst. And we moved into the valley. So this place that I'm living in now is actually a lot cheaper than the place I was living in before. Somehow, how does that work? I don't know, I'm Los Angeles and I make no sense whatsoever. But this place is really, really awesome. And I asked you on Facebook what you wanted to see and you overwhelmingly wanted just to see my house. Good yawn! And I guess that's a good thing because I've spent days and days and days packing and unpacking and moving and it's miserable and I'm really tired. But just a super disclaimer, this is not a funny video at all. It's a vlog, okay? Because I can't do anything except vlog right now because it's so real. My life is so real right now. Like so much adult things happening. And if you're watching this video, that means that it's somehow uploaded on some weird fucking hotspot from my phone because I was supposed to get internet on Tuesday and then they didn't come and they didn't come all day today. I'm gonna show you around because that's what you guys wanted to see. And then I need to fucking sleep. I haven't been like sleeping at all because I've just been trying to unpack my dick. Holy dick. All right, I'll show you. Ready to go. Here are all of my boxes. Although this is maybe like one eighth of the boxes that I unpacked. It's <laughs> packed and unpacked. I'm fucking tired of these boxes. I'm tired. This is my buffet. Okay. All the furniture that's in here is from my old place because when I moved into that place, I had to buy all the furniture because I didn't have any because I was a pretend grown-up and now I'm like a real grown-up. So I had to get like a truck. I'll show you my office. Do you want to see my office? This is where all my office stuff is. This is where Kevin sits. Kevin! Oh, here's my 2007-2008 Glow Award from softball. That basically just means that people on the team like you and that you keep it real when everyone else is losing their shit about nothing. Because <laughs> it still doesn't matter. I told you guys it didn't matter. Oh, these are my degrees. Guys, guys, you can trust me. I'm educated. <laughs> That's my nude selfie. I guess it's not a selfie if someone else took it. Oh, here's my autographed picture of Bob Barker. I used to love him. Also, nowhere in this house do I have any curtains because there are just no curtains and I haven't gotten around to getting any of them because I've been unpacking. Yeah, people can see right into my house at night. It's a little weird. But everyone here is really friendly, so that helps. Look at these are like zombie Kermit and Marbles and me that my friend Alan painted of us. Those are like my favorite fucking paintings. Aside from Three Docks and Drowning. This is the living room. All my furniture fit in it. It's so nice. See? Oh, it's so nice. So much room for activities. Let's go to the dining room. See? No curtains. That's all the street. <laughs> The chandeliers in this house are not mine. They they came with the house, so we have to take really good care of them. Even though I'm not really a chandelier person, I'm more of like a, a white trash, trailer trash kind of person, so it's kind of fancy for me. <laughs> Soldiers in Afghanistan sent me, I don't want to show the picture of them because I think they get in trouble for that, but they sent me their flag. I still need to get a flag box for this. I know that it exists, internet. Um, but that's like one of my favorite things that anyone's ever sent me. And someone sent me this. It's a Kermit <laughs> or a page. And this is my favorite picture of Kermit ever because he looks like super fucked up like a Picasso painting. But uh, Chris Thompson took this. Suffer E06. Someone sent these to my, my P.O. box there with like hand painted picture of me as a man. Come over, it gets better. And then here is the hand painted picture of mom. <laughs> When I opened it, I was like, was pissing my pants laughing. It was so funny. If Kermit was awake right now, he loves to like stick his face through there and just look at you like, what, what are you guys doing down there? What are you doing? Everywhere! Oh, he's just coming down the stairs. What are you doing? He didn't do it. This is a room that I have no idea what to do with yet because I don't have any furniture to put in here, which I guess is a good problem to have, right? It's better than having too much furniture and then having to throw it out. This is my fucking bar! <laughs> me and Cam and Marbles and me and Marbles and stuff, the animals and us at Sea World Memories. <laughs> this is the washer and dryer that I had to buy because this house did not come with one. So they were available to me, so I had to be a big girl and buy them, and it was like the worst thing ever. Until it did all my laundry, and I was like, oh, you can stay. Yeah, you can stay. And then in here, off of the room with no things, 
is the kitchen. This is the other thing that the house did not come with was a fucking refrigerator. At first it was almost like a deal breaker. I'm like, come on, dude, like I'm renting the place. But then I realized that if I ever move out, I could offer to sell them back to the landlord. Or if I moved somewhere where they didn't have them again, then I'd already have them. Definitely by far the most grown up thing I've ever bought. Look at this is my pizza because I have no groceries, so I need pizza for dinner. Mm -hmm. This is the treat drawer. Heard me what's in there? Is it a beautiful treat? Oh my goodness! Luckily, that thing is up really high, so I can't touch it because it looks fancy. Uh oh, we have a casualty. I started unpacking my shoes and putting them in the closet. Cause I was like, why would I put grown up stuff in there when there's a perfectly good cabinet for my shoes? Where our bedroom's not really unpacked, but it's a little bit unpacked, but I mean, it's still kind of a mess, so I'll just deal with it. I unpacked the bed and it's all messy cause I slept in it. And the box is full of all the things. And look at this is how we packed baby jail. Baby jail is full of nothing but fucking toys. You guys are brat children. I mean, there's two sinks in here, so me and Julie can each have our own sink. But this is my sink, which if you've seen my my other house, it's significantly less counter space, which is actually the best thing possible for me because it forced me to accept that I had a goo hoarding problem and to get rid of a lot of my goo so that I could fit it here. <laughs> this is something that is never, ever, ever, ever going to get used. This is a bidet. I don't even know how to use it. I don't want to use it. I'm <laughs> fucking just, nope. No thank you. Nope. If you come in here, kangaroo onesie, flying squirrel onesie, Spider-Man onesie, <laughs> turtle backpack, me, you're a cutie baby. But no dogs are allowed in the closet because there's carpet in here and you're not to be trusted. Look at the best fucking whatever this is. I don't know. Did you look up here? Oh my god, I don't want to look up. It goes into another dimension. I know it does. At this room, then you can be like, hey, Jenny, can I sleep over? And I'm like, yeah, friend, I have a bed just for you. Mom, I mom's coming for Thanksgiving, so mom is where you can stay. But mom, when you come, could you just like put away this box of wigs and there's a light in there? Yeah, if you could put that away, that'd be great. I washed the duvet cover with something purple, and no, it's got purple in it. But at least I washed it. <laughs> but the weirdest part about the guest room is that there's a door here, and you're like, oh, it's a closet. And I'm like, no, it's doorception. And then you're like, well, what's behind door number two? And I'm like, don't do it, don't do it, you better not. Oh my god! Uh, no! No, there's a TV in there! You see that? from the 1940s. Oh my god, like somebody would just come up here and fucking chill. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh, is that the breaker? Oh, that's actually good to know. <laughs> <laughs> the more you I want to get out of there, I don't like it. And we totally did hear aliens last night. There was like this fucking loud ass, like beeping noise for like, I don't know, two or three minutes. And Julie's like, oh my god, what is that? Like, don't worry, it's aliens, okay? They're, they're good, they're here to be our friends, don't worry. So, Julian uploaded a vlog when we were here, and I put Jeffrey, the giraffe, down there, but then we were like, oh, that's a way better spot for Jeffrey. And then I realized that that little spot has its own light. Okay, good night, Jeffrey. Oh, good morning, Jeffrey. Good night, Jeffrey, good morning, Jeffrey. Good night. I would have you say goodbye to Peachy, but she's in the bed. That's my house, and sorry for those of you that don't like vlogs and stuff, but I just can't, I can't really even do anything. I don't even fucking have any internet. Uh, I will see you guys next week, and I hope you like the tour of my house, and I have no curtains. Everyone can see me take all my clothes off. Oh my god. Julian, do you like the house? I really like it. It's awesome! It's super awesome! Make sure you subscribe to my channel and put on videos every Wednesday. Or unless you have Time Warner Cable. In which case, I'll fucking upload it on Friday. God! Thank you for being patient with me while we got our fucking shit together. And I will see you next week with a much better video in the new house. Oh my god. Alright, love you. Bye. Everybody say bye. Say bye. Bye. I'm Gary Busey. <laughs>